but at its peak, more than 9,000 homes across Cornwall were left without power. Sam Blackledge has spent the day in Newquay and Perrinport to see how families there have been coping. Uh, Sam, it can't have been an easy day. Well, as you can tell, it's still pretty blowy up here on the cliffs, but nothing like it was this morning. Cornwall really took a battering and most people found out what the problem was when they went to their kettles this morning and tried to make their morning cup of tea because thousands were left without power. The latest we're hearing from the national grid this evening is that 5,000 properties are still without power this evening. And as I've been finding out, many people have had to resort to some rather old fashioned methods just to get through the day. Filling a saucepan with water and then heating it on the fire just to make breakfast was not exactly on Jen's Thursday morning to-do list. Power cuts are a pain at the best of times, even more so when you're at home with two young children and a violent storm is raging outside. We haven't got any heating upstairs. We can't boil water. We can't cook anything because we're not on the um, gas mains. Everything's electric down here because we're sort of quite far out. We had a big meltdown this morning because Oshie has pancakes for breakfast every morning and obviously couldn't cook anything. We've been being a bit experimental by heat, trying to do eggs and stuff on top of the fire but um, and heating hot water. But uh, yeah, it's all pretty slow and not going that well. The Cornish coast felt the full force of Storm Kieran last night and early this morning. 9,000 homes were left without power, including the whole of this caravan park in Perrinporth. It was frightening, it was horrendous. We just kept on expecting any time the roof maybe to blow off or the tree to blow in. People on site were all messaging one another, are you OK? Then of course the power went off so you couldn't even make yourself a copper. So it was just... Well, I hope it's not the same tonight. I got waking up at half four, saw a big flash, and then all our electric went off. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's come back on now, and it was horrendous. Really, really bad. Not, not like I've ever heard it before. Really, really bad. I, I definitely underestimated how bad it was going to be. The National Grid has apologised for the inconvenience and says it's working hard to get everybody back up and running. As always, we're asking for that patience from our customers. Um, the combination of high winds and rain have been uh, very challenging for us, especially in West Cornwall. Um, but we will continue to work th throughout the evening and, and, and night and possibly into tomorrow morning to get people's supplies back on. As it stands, almost 5,000 homes are still without power this evening. Storm Kieran has certainly left its mark. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Perrinporth. It really has left its mark, uh, as Sam said.